Welcome to a brand new episode of Gadget Nation and me, Adam Carruthers. Here we are at RGB in the Hive, Jalan Damai. Very nice location, perfect location. You're gonna check out plenty of new devices, including what's here in my hand. Something from HP, something to make you the envy of all your friends. Sorry, that was a little pun on my part because it's called the envy. Ha <laughs> ha! But I have to say, it really is rather envious. Why? Well, let's dig in. Motorola recently had announced the Moto X family that are heading to Malaysia soon. Consists of two versions of smartphones, the Moto X style is the top of the range version with a 5.7 inch quad HD display and a higher end Snapdragon 808 processor. While the incoming model is a Moto X Play with a 5.5 inch Full HD screen and a mid range Snapdragon 615 octa core processor with 2GB of RAM. Microsoft Malaysia has begun pre orders of its much awaited Surface Pro 4. The brand new Surface Pro 4 is Microsoft's thinnest, lightest, and most powerful tablet that acts as a laptop replacement. Features a stunning 12.3 inch pixel sense display equipped with 6th generation Intel Core M, Core i5, and Core i7 processors, enabling everyone from students to professionals to get more done on the go. Sony has revealed the latest addition to its award-winning series of compact full-frame Alpha 7 cameras with the introduction of the Alpha 7 S2. Offering ultra-high sensitivity and wide dynamic range across the entire ISO range and 5-axis image stabilization for greater shooting control, the Alpha 7 S2 delivers stunning image quality for photographers who shoot in the most challenging light conditions. This is a very, very, very nice piece of kit. The HP NV15 Notebook PC. Just call it the NV to make it easy. And just looking at it, I think it is gorgeous. Now, you can't probably see why I think it's gorgeous just yet, but I'm gonna to demonstrate to you before we get to the internals, etc., how it is on the exterior. So we've got this lovely polished aluminum finish on the outside and it's equally as nice here, although a bit more plasticky, but the top is very, very sleek. Now, the reason why I think it's very attractive looking, I mean, at first glance, it looks a bit like a MacBook Pro, just at a glance, particularly the larger models when you're holding it, and obviously the HP logo there is a dead giveaway. This is not an Apple product, but one thing I really love is this right here, the hinge. Now, I know you still can't see it, but I'm gonna try to explain it. See, it has this curved sort of finishing around here. The mechanism actually are hidden by this curved edge right here to cover everything up. So if I open it, you can see there, from the side, the way it sits almost on top of the actual hinge itself right there. So it creates a very beautiful effect. When it's closed, it looks equally as beautiful. You can see right there, there's a gap right underneath, right by where one of the vents are. And when you open it, Obviously, you're not gonna look at the laptop from the side all the time, but you can probably see it looks beautiful. It sits inside there like such. But if you look here, if you're actually looking at the screen, they call it like the infinity pool view. It's like the screen is almost floating behind it, like slightly underneath and being propped up. So already this looks very distinctive. If I hold it up like such, you might be able to see it a little bit better. You get what I mean? That looks great in my opinion. It looks fabulous and therefore it has this sort of prestigious feel to it already. You may have noticed when I opened it up, it's got Bang & Olufsen there, it's got some pretty good specs inside, and this could very well be something perfect for some media playing and also a work partner. So let's delve inside. Let's just take a look at how things are on the inside, shall we? I touched on the outside of the uh, this actual casing being like a nice brush aluminum finish. So is the inside right here where the keyboard area sits. Very nice, very, very premium feel. It's just the bottom side which is slightly plasticky but take nothing away. Still feels pretty solid, still feels pretty firm. I'm a big fan of that. And you can see the keyboard, not sure if it comes across but it actually sits in like a recess area. It's like a little lip going in. 
So it's nice and easy to use the keyboard. Thumbs up on how to design it. And the keyboard itself, very easy to use, very responsive. Chiclets feel very, very nice. Again, everything's very neatly done. Everything's very, very organized. Thumbs up in that sense. The screen, obviously a huge part of it. It's 15.6 inches and it's touchscreen, it's LED, full HD. So in terms of enjoying your media, etc., some basic games, you're definitely good to go in that sense. There's even like a thumbprint scanner attached here as well. So you can have a little bit of fun with that in terms of security. Now, in terms of how it is in my hands, it's uh, lighter than last year. Last year's model was about, give or take, 5.74 pounds. This one is about five pounds. So quite a noticeable difference in that sense. One thing I do want to stress, even though it's lighter, is the performance of the battery. Now, last year's model, six, six and a half hours on a full charge, which is very decent in itself, but pretty much run of the mill when it comes to 15 or 15.6 inch laptops. This one, however, is nine hours and 20 minutes, which is roughly three hours more give or take than its predecessor. So obviously that's a huge jump. It's also setting itself apart from its competitors in the screen size. Very, very good, I have to say. Very, very good battery life. Zero complaints on that front. I mean, almost 10 hours, almost 10 hours. Obviously, depending how hard you're pushing it, etc. But hands up, I mean, you can watch quite a few movies on that. You could take it to work. It should be able to last you a full day, maybe slightly less. So if you're out for meetings, etc., good to go. Again, that's why I said earlier on, good workmate and a good media player. Those two things right there. In terms of the internal specs, it's running uh, i7, fifth generation, GeForce GTX uh, graphics inside as well from NVIDIA. It's got 256 uh, SDD. It's also got itself one tera in terms of hard disk as well and 8 GB of RAM. So it shouldn't suffer in terms of performance unless you're gonna go like super high-end graphics or something. But one thing I do like, you may have noticed Bang & Olufsen right there, the logo. Now, if you know anything about speakers, sound quality, Bang & Olufsen, renowned for it. I mean, they're world famous for the sound quality they deliver. And you can see right above it there, booming speakers and it's quad uh, speaker audio system, and it does a very, very good job. So you can sit back, not necessarily have to plug your headphones in, just make sure you're not annoying those around you, and enjoy the full rich sound coming from these speakers. Booming sound, I should add, for your movies and TV shows. So, what do I think about this in closing? At 4,599, basically 4,600 ringgit, it is a very, very good device. It is sleek, it is adequately powered, it's got great rich sound, the screen is nice, and most crucially, it is a vast improvement on last year's Envy, the last year's model, its predecessor. It's lighter, it has a better battery life, it looks sleeker. I'm such a big fan of just opening it up and seeing that hinge which I, which I started on when we looked at the entire device right at the start. It, it really, there's not much wrong with it to tell the truth. I mean, yeah, it looks a bit like an older MacBook, but apart from that, I think HP have done a bang up job. If the price is a bit too expensive, bear in mind that other competitors might charge a little bit more, those that look similar to this, if you get my hint. So in terms of value, it certainly seems to do the job well done, HP. I will definitely recommend this. Very sleek, very nice, very cool.